Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome, my Aquarius friends and Aquarius cross watchers, to the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot. I'm Zachary. Thank you for joining me here this week, and welcome to my table. So, I'm going to get started shuffling here for your spirit animal energy for the week. This is for November 27th through December 3rd. So we're crossing over into the next month. Spirit, what do we have for Aquarius? All messages here are also timeless, you guys, so feel free to take a look at anything that that grabs your attention, tickles your fancy. You're free to do as you please. Thank you guys for your help or support. I mean, help, uh, love and support, um, liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting that notification bell. Those are all wonderful ways to support me, and I love you. Thank you for allowing me to support you as well. My Cash App and PayPal links are in the description if you guys want to donate in a more financial way. Those of you that have, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Not mandatory, but I deeply am grateful. So thank you. And I do also have the link in the description there for my two and a half thousand subscriber contests. So I'm giving away two free readings there. That's going through the end of the month here. So feel free to take a look, you guys. Enter for a chance to win, okay? Um, frog, prosperity. Ooh, yay. Let go of the past and embrace change. Opportunities are close at hand. Hop Hop into the new day, this new day with joy, abundance, and good fortune await you. Yay! Oh, I love that. So um, I did have uh, the Fool. As I was shuffling here, some cards kind of pop up into my cognizance here. The Fool definitely came out a couple of times. So what that tells me is there are there's a new journey or there's something new that's going to be starting for you guys, or you guys are wanting to start something new. You've been pursuing that. Maybe you started, maybe you're in the planning stages, pre-planning stages, but there's something, something new is on its way, okay? And as I was meditating for you guys, so what I saw was kind of a two-part message with, it was a, it was a hand with a, uh, could have been a dagger or it looked more like a chisel to me, but um, so it was coming down in like a, a stabbing motion like this. The first thought I had was be careful of, um, I don't feel like there's anybody who's looking to stab you in the back, but um, that energy could also be present with, with you. Like if you're upset with somebody, you're just being cautioned to, to, to have integrity. You know, that's all pragmatic advice. Okay, you guys. And um, there was also a note of uh, skill, like using your skill to build something, like I said, with a chisel, like carving out a statue from marble, using a skill to build something beautiful. And then um, I also saw, it was really interesting. It was like a pyramid, but then it was tied up with like cloth, like, and, and tied at the very top. And what that said to me, uh, or the message that came through on that was, it was your power. So the, the pyramid is your power. And then having it, covered up like that, there was, there was a recommendation of hiding your power or keeping it close to your chest right now is what I was getting. Cause there were also two weird shapes that came together and I felt that those were very powerful components too. So what I'm feeling is that, um, you may have an opportunity to, you are powerful, but you may have an opportunity to use that power at some point. And there's something about like, not, not, uh, showing your hand quite yet. That's all. Okay. So Spirit, what do we have for Aquarius for November 27th through December 3rd? What do we have? What do we have? Check out your rising moon and Venus as well, you guys. If you like, moon and Venus are going to be good for love if that's what you're looking for. But any strong placements um, in your chart that you're curious about, feel free to take a look. Okay. Six of Swords. So this is one that came through as well as I was shuffling. Six of Swords along with the the Fool. What I'm getting from this is there's a transition. Like there's there's something you guys are moving into starting a new story. Something wonderfully brand new is starting. And having the frog come through with all that wonderful goody, goody, good, good, abundance, good fortune, prosperity. Like, <laughs> okay, frog. I actually literally have not uh, pulled this card yet. So you guys are the first ones. Um, but the six of swords is, so this is your hope. This is something you guys are hoping to move through something. And I feel very much like you are okay. Help is coming. Help may already be here. You may, you know, be getting through these choppy waters into smoother, smoother places. 
But this is also, um, there's a note about starting over from zero, basically. So some of you may, like you're looking for a fresh start. Maybe you are looking to get out of a, a bad relationship or a bad job or finishing up a project or something along those lines. You guys are wanting something new, okay? And it's coming. It's coming. So what do we have for Aquarius Spirit? Gemini had a pretty good read. It was very, a lot of healing. A lot of love available, but there was just some needing to clarify what the what the deeper emotions were underneath anger. So there could be an emotional component to the air signs. We'll see. You guys are the second ones here. The Hierophant. I feel like you guys are like in starting something new here. I feel like you guys are tired of just the same old shit. <laughs> This is less of a fear, just more like, I just feel like you're done. Like, um, this represents tradition, doing things the same way. I feel like you guys are just ready for something new. You want a new adventure. And I don't blame you. As a Gemini son, I get hella bored. So, ooh. <laughs> yes, I feel very much like this is, it's coming for you, Aquarius. So, Three of Pentacles here, this is your general energy. Three of Pentacles, and then you've got Ace of Wands. Three of Pentacles is success through working with other people. So I feel like any opportunities, Ace of Wands is like a, a an inspirational start to it is the creative spark to start something, a grand project, traveling, um, something that moves your spirit, you know. So what I'm getting from this is there are going to be opportunities as you guys are thinking about taking a new journey, a new trip could physically be traveling somewhere, but I feel like this is more, you're wanting to change some major components of your life, job, where you live, just the way that you behave or interact with yourself. Even maybe you're interested in looking at other spiritual walks. I don't know. This is, this seems like a very open, abundant, prosperous time for you. So, um, the energy here is I feel like there will be a lot of success with other people working with them, but I feel like you'll have people around, Maybe new people, you know, that you, you haven't met before. Maybe some of them you have known, but like, I feel like something's going to be coming out from either a current colleague or somebody that you know, or a new person that's going to help move you forward into a new place. Maybe you haven't been thinking about going there, but the spark of inspiration is coming from somewhere. It could be coming from you. It could be regarding working with other people or it could be coming from other people. I feel very much like, because talking and listening is a part of this card too. I feel like chat it up, chat it up with people. Start asking people questions that, I don't know, get a little bit deeper. Find out find out how people feel about their own lives, you know, twin flame. <laughs> twin flame, a spiritual connection between you and your twin flame. Um, so I feel like, I wanna pull another. <laughs> I love this game. Communicate, receive and express the truth. So that for most of you, I feel like this is that component of, like I said, talking and listening, receiving and expressing the truth. What I was trying to say was like, talk to people, ask deeper questions. Like what lights your soul on fire? Hey, stranger, <laughs> what, what is, you know, your heart's desire? What's, what's the best thing that's happened to you this year? What, you know, I don't know, ask some really interesting questions and you'll get some interesting responses. Keep doing the same shit. You're not going to get different results. You know what I mean? So try something different. Try to connect with people at a deeper level right now because there's a spark of inspiration that's waiting for you. And others of you, I do feel, those of you that the Twin Flame connection does connect to, which I say this every time, not everybody has a Twin Flame, okay? It is actually pretty rare, um, especially with that Twin Flame documentary on, on Netflix. Oh, my God. Um, that is not a Twin Flame. <laughs> And um, it's really sad that, you know, somebody took advantage of people with that concept. But that's, this is a good you know, time to talk about that, too. You guys do not let yourself get into such a desperate place over something like the idea of a twin flame. The twin flame, your twin flame is here to help you grow. OK, just like you are them. It may not be the relationship that is best for you in this lifetime, period. You may not even have a twin flame. But for those of you that this does apply to, I feel like. You may run into them in this process of talking to other people. You may run into them. Maybe you're going to be ready for them. Maybe not. If you are ready for them, you don't really need them. 
is the whole thing. So you can decide to be with them if you want, but if you're not ready, it's going to either feel like a false flame or it's going to feel like hell either way. <laughs> but the whole point of it is to learn and grow. So in this process of trying something new, for some of you that's that twin flame, just talk to people. I feel like there's a journey that's waiting for you guys, okay? And like a, a happy, prosperous, abundant one. So the energy that's blocked here is the Ace of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is opportunities abound, everything in this material realm. So I feel like the opportunities that are coming through by connecting with other people, what this is saying with this being blocked, this is your give and take. Giving and taking charity, um, help, assistance. It could be conversation. Even. That's how I'm taking this. The reason why this these opportunities for your new path, your new journey are blocked are because you need to get the ideas from somebody else. Maybe not just the idea, but like, we exchange energy when we converse, when we when we hang out with other people and just standing next to somebody else, we exchange energy. There's a spark of inspiration that's coming. This is your match, your matchstick to, to light your keg, whatever this new journey is. But I feel like it's going to come from somebody else, maybe an opportunity. Maybe somebody's going to offer you something new. Maybe they're offering charity to you in this way. The reason it's blocked is because you need to get out there and Chat it up, okay? Take a page from Gemini's book <laughs> and start flapping your gums. Uh, retreat, time spent alone, reflection on past and current situations. So I don't feel like this is saying, I want to pull another card here. I don't feel like this is saying to avoid people. What I feel like this is saying, we will grab that in a second here. What I feel like this is saying is in trying something new, going in and reflecting on the things that you have done in the past, kind of like what I was saying with don't ask people the same old questions. You know what I mean? How's the weather? What are you watching on Netflix? Oh, you saw that Twin Flame documentary. <laughs> like ask, try something new. You're just being asked to reflect on how you've approached things in the past so that you can approach them differently in the future. One second here. Just dropped everything. So um, sun came through here as well while I was shuffling. I feel like there's just some wonderful things that are, are coming in for you guys. Can I get some clarification on how they unblock this energy, please, spirit? Nine of Cups. So I feel like this is referring to, it's like the Ten of Cups is satisfaction that comes from the outside. There is something about getting content with yourself as well like you already know you want to move to a new place that's okay there's you know there's some antsy energy uh creative energy that might that needs to go somewhere but that's different than being like displeased with yourself <laughs> so what this is saying is and that makes sense with the retreat too making sure taking stock of everything that's going on inside of you do you love yourself truly do you, you know, like who you are? Do you like who you are? There's a good one even. You may love yourself, but sometimes, you know, I don't know. There's just something about holding your own hand right now is kind of what's coming coming to mind with that too. Take care of yourself, okay? Because there's some wonderful things coming. So the energy that you need is the Knight of Swords and the Five of Cups. So the Knight of Swords talks about moving towards your goals with a high energy. It is a, a fast moving energy as well. There is a, there is a quality of like guarding or, or protection to this as well. I feel like what you're being asked to do, like the five of cups is disappointment. They're focusing on these spilled cups here. They've got two other cups behind you. So the energy that you need right now is to start focusing on not what you've lost, <laughs> but what, what is ahead of you here. There's a bridge crossing over into this new city. So the energy that you need is to like, look to the horizon, look, look over to the city, start heading in that direction quickly, <laughs> move over there. Cause right here, wherever, if you're feeling stagnant and stuck, focusing on that and being disappointed on that is not moving you forward at all. So I kind of get like dream is what I'm getting from that. Let yourself dream. Try to release the disappointment and start dreaming up the dream that you want to live, you know, and connect with people right now because that energy, there's something about connection that's, that's coming through as your answer or what's next. 
balance, juggling too many things at once, find time for yourself. So um, I kind of like retreat here. Some of you may be, I feel like you may be running towards too many things at once, or you're not sure what you're running to, but you're running fast. <laughs> Maybe you're running away from something. Um, what I'm getting from this is just to, because, okay, that's what, I, that's, yep, 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 thank you. Focusing on the disappointment here. So we can either run towards a dream or we can run away from a nightmare, right? What I'm feeling in this situation you're being asked to do is to start running towards a dream instead of running away from a nightmare. They are both energies that allow you change and movement, but with the prosperity and abundance uh, and good fortune, joy, that are coming through for you here, that requires you to shift that focus energetically so that that can come in. Because if you're focused on running away from a nightmare, that's the energy that you're projecting is the nightmare. You're not feeling safe. You're not, um, maybe you're not safe. And those, there are things, you know, that are real about that. I'm not trying to discredit any of that. What I'm saying is you're being encouraged to check, check the balance, you know, a new balance to check how you are approaching this movement. Is it because you're moving towards a dream? Do you know what your dream is? If not, like dream, start dreaming and figure that out. Try to stop running from something right now run towards something okay does that make sense okay good ace of swords and seven of cups so this is where it leads i love this this is great so ooh, okay ace of swords is like a new thought it's a new idea i feel like this idea this may even come as you're listening to this just talking about that shift like i said and a lot of us we do that you guys we run from a fear that is motivation and it's okay Sometimes, you know, we need that to, to get our ass moving <laughs> to where we need to go. This in particular is asking you to just start switching that because the they spirit, God, universe wants these blessings to come to you, but it requires that you're in the right um, frame of mind or in the right frequency. Okay. Like attracts like. So you're not going to, um, you're not going to attract a gold bar when you're in a state of fear is what I'm trying to say. So Ace of Swords, new idea, um, being able to handle complex processes of thought as well. Seven of Cups here being logical. Seven of Cups is choice, being spoiled for choice. This person is dreaming. This person's dreaming, you guys. That is the story with this. There are so many choices here and the whole point of the seven of cups is they need to pull one of those down from the dream realm just dovetailing off of what i said there i feel like you guys need to start dreaming again dream a little dream of me if you want it can be anybody <laughs> anything okay focus on focus on trying to pull down your biggest dream maybe you've forgotten how to dream maybe you have let go of a dream it's time to pull that dream out <laughs> i like how it landed right on there it's time to pull that dream out okay Oh, I love that. Ooh, Aquarius. What a great reading. <laughs> Can we do, yep, thank you. Confession, releasing a secret, per, pursuing virtue through honesty. So this is, um, this is kind of pulling through the meditation that I had as well, where it was like, very, saw very like Julius Caesar being stabbed in the back, also like a chisel, like I said. And saying, you know, just make sure you guys are, are acting within your integrity. I feel like there may be an opportunity to cut cut corners, so to speak, on this on this process. And it may involve, for some of you, this isn't all of you. This is general read, take what resonates, okay? Uh, please don't get angry at me. That is already getting old for me. <laughs> you guys have been great. Nobody said anything, but I just, yes, I'm <laughs> not a punching bag. Um, so I feel like this could even be maybe you're you're used to doing something in a certain way in the past and maybe you're not trying to not be in integrity or not uh you're not trying to harm somebody but through through not being as aware as you could be maybe you are inadvertently harming other people is kind of what i'm getting having that shift between using the skill and stabbing somebody maybe in the process of you doing your work 
you may accidentally be throwing other people out into the cold or under the bus. Whoever that applies to, just I feel like when you start focusing on your dream again, it's going to open your eyes a bit more. Maybe acting out of fear, for those of you that this applies to, running from something out of fear has been making it hard for you to see objectively and subject <laughs> subjectively appropriately, you know, because you've been operating from a place of survival. Those of you that this, this applies to, okay? Uh, but others of you, the message is that like, it's time for you to start pulling something down, whatever idea that's going to be coming to you, pulling that down into reality. That's really exciting. Ooh, that's exciting. This is interesting energy. So your challenge for the week, I feel like this is, this is talking about your shift, moving, moving from running from the nightmare to running towards your dream. So you've got the high priestess and death. This is your challenge. High priestess is secrets. <laughs> it is uh, the unconscious mind. Death is a change, is transformation, moving from one thing to another thing. So I'm feeling like for some of you, whatever, like this, this keeps coming back. Maybe some of you are doing something shady. And if that's the case, like throw your bad comments at me in the comments. I'm just going to tell you, stop doing that. Okay. If you know that you're doing something that is not in line with your integrity, stop doing it. Just stop. Like there's, there's no better time than now. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not saying go back and apologize to anybody or anything like just stop. Just cut the crap. Okay. For those of you that that applies to others of you, I feel like moving into a more balanced state, running towards your dreams is going to help shifting that frequency, not only to bring all those wonderful things in, but to help whatever is going on in the situation where somebody may inadvertently be getting hurt. And this is not for everybody. Okay. But for your challenge, I feel like this may be, this transition may be difficult. Okay. Because it's dealing with some unconscious fears and processes and emotions. If you have been running from a fear versus running towards a dream, it's not going to be an easy transition. That's, that's what I'm getting from this because it's rooted in fear. There's something that's legitimately scaring you. Now, whether or not that fear is a reality or if it's something that you are trying to not make a reality, whatever it is, in your mind, in your unconscious mind, not your conscious mind, this is something that you have been worried about so much consciously that it's become an unconscious process. Or it could be something that is passed on generationally, okay? A deep-seated something. Um, having the secret come through on that, I feel like maybe some of you are feeling guilt or shame over something that has happened in the past that you did. Maybe it wasn't in line with your integrity. Maybe you did purposely hurt somebody or, or whatever. And if that's the case, what I would say is learn to forgive yourself. Okay. <laughs> if you feel like needing to reach out to somebody, you know, do that. But I feel like the biggest message coming through is having grace and compassion for yourself. Okay. We are all human. And although it sucks to do things that maybe, maybe you were acting out of desperation at one point in your life. And that one thing is just like, has been gnawing at you. You've been carrying it around your whole life. Like people can just see it, you know, on your face or you're worried about people finding out about it. Let it go. Let it die. Um, let it die because the tower did, it didn't pop up in the reading. At least we have one more here, but it didn't pop up in the reading. I did see it through shuffling. And what I get from that is like, if you don't start learning to let that go, because I think that might be a component of what you're running from the fear, you're using that as motivation to run from it. If you don't let that go, then that's only coming closer. You're just bringing more of that around. Learn to forgive yourself. You guys, you're beautiful. You're human and you deserve grace, okay? And compassion, no matter what it was, honestly. Can we get some clarification on the high priest and priestess and death, please? Yeah, be nice, be nice to my friend, okay? <laughs> but either way, um, there's going to be some difficulty in making this transition for yourself. Self-awareness, tapping into your higher self, questioning routines and patterns. Yep. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. So um, I highly recommend meditating, just getting to the bottom of what that, what is that? 
thing that's gnawing at you, go talk to that. Because you're going to want to shift away from that. Like the Five of Cups is talking about the energy that's needed. Stop focusing on that component. Turn, turn to something a bit more positive. Okay? Okay. So your blessing for the week is Judgment and Nine of Wands. Judgment is... Um, it's that movement from your old life to your new life. <laughs> Having the fool come through, you guys, you know, wanting to, to start something new. This is releasing your true inner self. It's the final judgment, the final decision before the original Wyatt card is an angel calling up the souls from their graves. So you're moving from the life of rot, whatever that is that's been rotting in your conscious or unconscious mind. It's time to move through that. And your blessing this week is... You are being cradled for that. You are being invited to take advantage of the prosperity and abundance and joy that's that's here for you. I love the car, the colors on this card too. It makes me so happy. <laughs> Just what a wonderful combination. And the Nine of Wands here talks about, this is like, like a warrior that's exhausted. You can see they've been fighting. They're all bandaged up. These wands represent a barrier, something that they're protecting. So you're being encouraged here that success is coming and you are almost there is what I'm getting from this. Resilient. Be resilient. Keep fighting the good fight. Allow yourself to move through this process here. Whatever is, um, for those of you that that applies to, whatever is eating, eating you up, it's time to let that go. Because that might be the thing that's beating you up here too, is you. Regardless, it's time to move into your new life. We get some clarification here to spirit for the blessing. Oh, divine timing and happiness, y'all. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> happiness, new discoveries that lead to celebrations. Love yourself first. And then divine timing, everything has a higher purpose. Hell yeah, it does. So part of loving yourself here is having compassion and grace for yourself, forgiving yourself. Those of you that that applies to, and we all have something, you guys. We all have something that, you know, whether we are working on it or not, because there's not a final destination, there's always going to be a time, depending on how your energy level is, where something's going to sting more than it might other times. So what I'm talking about is like, yeah, what are, what are these things that you are holding on to? Either that, I think it's more like what you've done, what you've done that you feel shame or guilt about. How can you start loving yourself through that? How can you find some grace and compassion for yourself in that? That is key right now. And talking to other people, okay? Because there is a spark of inspiration. All right. I love you so much, Aquarius. Thank you for joining me here this week. And I hope you have a wonderful week. We'll see you soon. Okay?